so here I'm riding on a train, the San Luca Express, going to Basilica di San Luca. And that church is the San Petronio Church in Piazza Maggiore here in Bologna. This is the statue of Luigi Calvani, the one who discovered the bioelectricity. We are now in Via Farini. And they gave us headphones if we want to listen to the audio guide and there are 10 different languages. That's the Basilica di San Francesco in Piazza Malpighi. We are now in Via Santisaya. That statue is Padre Pio. We are now approaching the Porta Saragozza, one of the gates or portals of the medieval walls of the city of Bologna. We are now in Via Saragozza. And now we're about to go uphill. Going by foot to the sanctuary of Madonna della San Luca is also a must because you're going to walk along the Portico di San Luca. It's the longest portico in the world, a 3.5 kilometers long and it has 666 arcades. And that is the Basilica della Madonna di San Luca. It is one of the symbols of the city of Bologna. It is an 18th century church overlooking the city from the other side and the hills of Emilia-Romagna on the other. The basilica is situated on top of a hill called Guard Hill. The basilica is dedicated to the Virgin Mary. Madonna is another name for Mary, the mother of Jesus Christ. And the treasure of this basilica is the image of the Virgin with Child. The Bolognese say the Madonna di San Luca protects the Bologna. And because of this, the Bolognese ask a portico to be constructed to protect, to shelter the Madonna di San Luca during its annual descent into the city.
Going by foot to reach the sanctuary of Madonna di San Luca is a sort of pilgrimage for the believers. The San Luca Express is created to connect the Bologna city center to the magnificent Basilica della Madonna di San Luca. It starts in the Piazza Maggiore in the city center. The round trip ticket costs 10 euro per adult, 5 euro for kids from 5 to 10 years old, and 3 euro for kids under 5 years old. Equipped with an integrated audio guide, the tour will give you all the information about the history of Polonia and all its curiosities. For further information, you can visit the official tourist information site of Polonia. That's the Renato Dallara Stadium the main football stadium in Bologna. Just a little trivia for our Filipino viewers, that's the Villa Benny the location of the Dolce Amore series of Liza and Enrique Hill. We are now re-entering the Porta Saragozza, which means we're going back to the city center. I hope you enjoy watching this video. Thank you. Ciao, ciao.